Have you ever migrated elsewhere in search of a greener pasture or to avoid a particular weather condition? If yes, you are not alone. Do you know that there are 10 million Filipinos live abroad and more than 1 million leave the Philippines every year to work in another country? Even the seagulls from Siberia do it, and here is where they go, at Bangpu Recreation Center. Bangpu stands for Place of Crabs. This is a local seaside resort on the Bay of Bangkok in Thailand. It provides habitat for large flocks of migratory seagulls that migrate from Siberia annually in the early winter around the beginning of November to avoid freezing weather in their country. Other reasons why it is their favorite destination is because of the wide mangrove forests surrounding the area and the tourists offering food on a regular basis. I didn't move somewhere cold like what seagulls do and still living in a tropical country. As a migrant myself, I can relate to these birds. Because just like them, in the past, I needed to travel far and wide because of family's responsibilities and to find comfort and safety. If you do not feel secure in your own vicinity, I totally understand and sympathize with you as you might have had traumatic experiences that were even contributed by people close to you. It is not okay as it takes years of learning experiences to finally heal from them. Yet, I want to remind you that you do not need to stay in that hole forever. You can get yourself back up and start all over again. We cannot control others' emotions, thoughts, and reactions, but we can control ours. Believe in the power of the universe and the Almighty to bless us tenfold and more and bring us justice in time for being wronged. I'm not saying you will just accept and tolerate the ugly and the unfair intentions due to self-imperfections. Seek help from trusted adults and agencies, and if they are not willing to help, carve their names into a rock and toss it in the ocean and never bring them back up. 
let them get drowned in their own conscience. Now I'm speaking metaphorically here. I know you know what I mean. Every one of us has our own reasons for migration. If you mainly do it for your family, I salute you for the sacrifices you do for the people you love. If you do it for self, let me tell you that it's not selfish. Self-care and self-respect are not selfish. I trust your judgment and wisdom. I suppose you are mature and sensible enough to choose what and where you want to be. There are places we want to go, things we want to do. But for now, let us be like seagulls. Enjoy where we are and do what we know. But one day, we're going to be somewhere, somewhere where our hearts are at rest. Bye for now, and be safe.